hello everyone and in today's video i just wanted to you know draw a sketch of what my drone was is supposed to look like so it's going to be um, a two propeller based drone uh, this is the high level sketch and i'll probably use a cad model my goal is to now create a cad model of this drawing and then use a cnc machine to basically cut these carbon fiber joints um, and then try to start mounting them physically so it's not a quadcopter it'll be a basically a two cop two propeller made based um, drone uh, there are many reasons why i'm going with this design i mean um, i could change it in the future but the goal is to do something that's let's put it this way the more propellers you have the more noise it's going to make the less propellers you have the less noise it's going to make so uh, i'm trying to optimize for noise uh, it's also going to be a little bit more efficient in that sense but it might but i'm compromising on say control systems and the ability for it to maneuver and stability so because the more propellers i have then it becomes a little bit more stable as stable of a system but less propellers i have then i need to compensate it through some other means so these will be gimbal motors that will be mounted onto this onto these arms and then this will be a brushless DC motor that will basically power this this particular drone. There'll be cameras on top for 360 degree vision, an antenna for controlling it remote control, uh, controlling it remotely. Um, then you have a battery bank in the in in the bottom. Um, this will be much more futuristic, but to add basically hands, uh, uh, limbs, and basically uh, grippers uh, in the bottom of the feet, something similar as bird. Now these dimensions, I'm yet to kind of fix and figure out you know what's the best dimension but um, but this is basically what I have the whole idea is the propellers will be facing downwards um, and so the distance between the propeller blades the half of the propeller blades should not hit the arm of the uh, of the drone so that's some measurement that I would have to take because it depends on what type of propeller I'm using uh, some propellers are 10 inches long, some propellers are 8 inches long. Uh, so if you divide that by 2, that'll be like 5 inches or 4 inches. Um, so the whole propeller is 10 inches and half of it from the center would be um, basically what I need to measure. So you're looking for at least uh, 4 to 5 inches of um, of spacing between between where the um, axis of the, of the brush of DC motor or the axis of the propeller and the edge of the propeller. So how, what does that scale to like say four or five meters? So a 10 inch propeller is this big. It's, it's almost the size of my book. Um, so five inch would be half of that. So that's, that's a big propeller. Um, and to give context as to how big this is, I'll just... So to give context, so this is uh, an each inch propeller. So if I measure from edge to edge, um, here, oh, this is a 10 inch propeller. So this is pretty big. Um, this might be a little smaller. So if I just take one of these edges, this is uh, around four and a half. So four and a half, so from the center to the end, when it spins, it's gonna be nine inches, basically. Four and a half into two is, is nine inches. So the, so the length would be nine inches. Uh, or the diameter of the uh, propeller will be nine inches. This is ten inches. So depending on what propeller I use, uh, I'm, I'm promised like these are propellers that you can buy from Amazon or eBay. Um, but depending on you want, based on how the stability of the system is and how how you design the propellers, and the propeller should be designed based on what the system you're designing, which is basically the drone that I'm designing, and everything should kind of work in harmony. So. Uh, I can't just basically buy a, a propeller from eBay and make it work on this particular type of drone or this configuration. Uh, it won't work properly. 
uh, for many reasons. <clears throat> so understanding uh, how they all fit together uh, would make a difference. So yeah, so that's basically the high level sketch and I thought I would do a small little video. Uh, the next video I'll probably design the CAD model of this and then eventually I would, I'm still trying to save up to get a CNC machine and then we'll basically be able to cut all of this and it'll be a uh, really fun times. All right. Uh, thank you.